Hey guys, welcome to Hook by Hurley. Today I'm up in Payson on my way back from a little vacation weekend and we're stopping here at the community fishing waters that are here in Payson, the Green Valley Lakes. There's actually three lakes here. This is the main lake and there's two smaller lakes that are one and two acre and this one's 10 acres. So we're gonna head out on the pier here. They got rainbow trout, bass, crappie, and sunfish. So we're gonna see if we can hook into something and uh, we'll catch you guys when we get out on the pier. I'm going to go with a bold bluegill, since there's lots of bluegills here. We just saw them catch a bluegill, a decent sized one, when we walked up here. So I'm going to throw a drop shot with a bold bluegill. I've been told there's some decent bass in here. There's supposed to be um, rainbow trout they stocked and um, gila trout. It's like a brownish trout. So. And I just saw them catch a nice size bluegill. So if we catch a bluegill, we might put him out for bait. Stephanie's using a jig head grub with a curly tail. And I'm going to try to see maybe along the wall here, up this way, if there's any bass. So today is... Uh, Monday, November 22nd, it's 11 a.m., so we're just getting started. Probably spend maybe an hour or two here, see how it goes, before we head back down to the valley. So we've got three ponds here, or three, it's called lakes, but we have a, uh, right across the way here, there's a two-acre little pond, and then across that street, there's a one-acre pond. Um, this is the main one that's the 10 acre. It says it's got a maximum depth of 21 feet. I'm assuming that's in this one, not those smaller ones. We may go over and try our hand at um, the smaller one over here. I was talking to a gentleman that was fishing when we got here, and he said um, he's had better luck with the trout in that 2 acre one over there. He actually saw them when they stocked it, and they, he said they put quite a few uh, trout in there. So and his buddy pulled out a pretty big Gila trout he showed me pictures of so and he's also gotten some big big Gila trouts they're weird they're, they're like brown um, they're kind of definitely different looking I don't know if we'll get lucky to get one of those today but we'll see what we can catch I feel like along these reeds could be a good spot for um, 
for bass. I'm not sure if I'm going to get snagged up, but let's uh, let's give it a try. Oh. <laughs> This is a really pretty, pretty lake here. Uh, I'll put the link down below from the Arizona Game and Fish Department. It's got a map of where this is in the uh, the address. So if you're coming up to Payson off the off the the 87, it's just right down Main Street, um, maybe like a mile and a half, a couple miles down um, from the main road when you come through Payson before you get to the 260 there. So it's really close if you're coming through Payson, maybe even going up to the rim to go fish in Willow or any of those lakes. Um, you can easily just stop in here and, and, uh, and hit this one too while you're in town. Uh, I've got a bobber out right now with some power bait on it. Uh, the other guy here fishing with me said if I get a trout he'll keep it, so I don't mind using the power bait in case they, you know, gut hook it. Stephanie's gonna go with the gold number two blue fox. I'm gonna switch to a Thomas Boyant spoon, my orange and black one. We're gonna give these a shot. Super tight right now. Alright. Gotta loosen my drag a little bit. There we go. Now we just gotta catch something. Is that is that a bald eagle or is that an osprey? Do you see that? Yeah, it looks like a bald eagle. It could be an osprey too, it's hard to tell from this angle. I don't know. I think it might be a bald eagle. The osprey usually have white on their wings. So I think we might have a bald eagle here. I don't know. You guys will probably comment down below and tell me what it is. It doesn't look as big as a bald eagle would look, but it could be a small one. All right, I think I'm going to walk this shoreline up a little bit, see if I can cast out in a little different directions. We've been having zero luck out on the pier, so I'm going to try to up here a little bit further away. Let's try out this way. Looks like a lot of stuff I can get snagged on through here, so that's always a good sign, right? Okay guys, that was just a quick trip over here to the uh, local community pond here in uh, Payson. We didn't have much luck today, but uh, it looks like a great pond. A lot of people fish, and I've heard people do catch a lot of fish out of here. We just got to get back to the valley, so I'll throw some drone footage in there for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Come check it out. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.